Uh, so bees got there in the end. <laughs> Did yeah. Um, it's fa fantastic. I can't praise the players enough. They've been absolutely outstanding. We we come in on the twenty sixth of June, and the, and the the goal was promotion. We wanted to win the league. We couldn't win the league. We finished second, and then from there it was like right, let's let, let's get up through the, the only other way, which is the playoffs. And the players to a man have been with us all season, been absolutely outstanding, and I can't praise them enough. Did you did you feel it was a, a bit of deja vu coming in that second half when especially when the red card came? Well, I think we were due a bit of luck in these games. I think this club, let's have it right, this club should be in not National League North because it's it got cheated out of a spot three years, four years ago. And no one's had just come out and said it, but I'll say it. We were cheated out of a, a position in the Nationwide North because of a restructure. We were, we were promotion winners and didn't go up. The only other time it'll happen, it won't happen again. And in my opinion, last year, if that referee's a bit better, we'd probably go on and win that. So we deserved it. We deserve a bit of luck. And obviously, to score a last minute goal is, is a bit of luck that we, we were due. Obviously, Bamford Bridge stopped you playing the game, certainly in the, in the way that you played it on, on Tuesday night. What what were your thoughts? Like what were you thinking in that second half? They they changed their system to to play to stop us playing, which is you know credit to them, and, and they did it. To be fair, we weren't at our best, um, which finals it can happen. People are a bit nervous, a bit apprehension, don't want to lose, and we just said to half time, we just feel a little bit braver, a little bit more. You know, we brought Sean on, he made the difference, he was that calmness in possession, and then obviously the red card, whether it's a red or not. You know, it's you think, oh no, here we go again. But no, full credit to the lads to, to, to get us over the line. Did you feel that that was, you know, their game plan was pretty much to disrupt you rather than to try and win them games? I think win so. The game I think so because their best player has been playing up front all season. He's played on the left, which is a credit to us. But we also yeah, notified sure. them. I don't think I think they only had one shot. Obviously, we should have had a blatant penalty, and the ref bottled it for one of a better way. So, you know, it was a tight game, and you know, they're a good team. They've got some really good players. And it was always going to be like that. It wasn't going to be like Tuesday because, let's be honest, Tuesday was absolutely outstanding. And the amount of people said to me it's the best they've ever seen here. Then it was never going to be like that. But we had to dig in and we had to get through and we had to get over the line, and we did. And what about the the scenes at the end and the celebration? Oh, it's, it's what you're in football for, isn't it? You're in football to to win things and the sheer elation on the players, on the on the, on the staff, and on the supporters' faces. It's just what you're here for. And obviously now I'm, I'm sure you'll have a bit of a break, but you'll you'll have to start thinking about next season pretty quickly. Yeah, we're quite organised behind the scenes. Myself and the chairman, obviously, we're, we're, we're well on with things, you know, in the background, whatever was going to happen. We had to, it's part of your job and we're well on with that, but that will continue the next couple of weeks. Then we'll, we'll both have a well-earned break and then, before you know, it'll be pre-season. <laughs> you want, you obviously, you want your subs to make an impact when they come on. Isaac, Isaac's scored a few goals off the bench, a few important goals off the bench in the last few weeks, but... Today he's, he's put himself into the folklore of this club, hasn't he? Well, we've made history, Annie. You know, he's going to go down with Craig Robbo Rob as, as a history maker. He's took the club to the highest ever position, and and I'm made up for him. He's, you know, he's, he's been been a bit gutted. He hasn't been playing and the form of the two other wide players. But for him to go on and score, you know, the, the winner there was brilliant. I know you don't like taking credit for things. I know it's all about the players. But for you personally, in terms of your playing and your, your coaching career, does this does this top a lot? I think so because I didn't like to say it, but I think I've lost every playoff and play. I think it's up to twelve now, apart from today. So lucky thirteen. So um, yeah, it probably does. It was just a yeah, bit of relief to be honest because it's something we've worked so hard on. You know, I can't thank Dave and I can't thank um, Mark and Ben. You know, and, and the chairman enough because we've all we've all been there. and We've got a bit of stick, I suppose, when we drew and lost in a week. But you know that happens. That's football. People. The odd idiot on social media, but you know, people, Toby especially, and the players, more importantly, the players, they believed in what we were doing and we knew it was right. And if we review the season in one minute, if we'd have had Connor, Josh, and Jordan all season, yeah, who knows where we'd be. But yeah. we've got them at the right time, and you know, they got us over the line. You've been here six years, all told, you know, assistant to Paul and now management, but you, so you become sort of you become personally invested in the club mm. in, in, in that time and so you can see what it means to Tolby, Lisa, it's almost the culmination, well not quite the culmination, but the high point of a decade's work for them. Isn't yeah, it? definitely, I think it's, it might be seven years, Matt, but it's, yeah. it, behind the scenes everyone knows how hard the chairman works and his wife and you know, his kids are invested in it and it's something that you know made up to, to be able to get them to do for, for him, you know, he's, he gave me the opportunity here and I, I think I played about that.